Aragorn, I actually won a stack of books off of eBay and the guy was like, hey, I'm in San Diego, you're in San Diego, do you wanna come pick them up? So I actually do not have an unboxing, I just got the books here. I narrowly averted getting sprayed by a skunk leaving his house, uh, which was in the bushes right next to my car, so that was kind of a fun little adventure. He was, he was actually super close uh, to where, where I live, so uh, saved on shipping and time, so gotta dig that. I got a nice run of books from this guy, and it was at a crazy rate, very inexpensive. I believe this is, uh, I'm just going off the top of my head, I believe this is Forge's first appearance, uh, which I already have, but I actually think this is a better copy. Uh, some of the books that I got from him are a little rough. They're talking to him, they're actually books he collected growing up as a kid to as an adult. So I think this was probably in uh, the latter, latter stages of his collection. So it's actually in, in pretty good condition. There might be a little, let's see if I can see that again. Looks like there might be a little ding right there. There is. It's like a small tick, but I think this is still a better copy than the one I have. And I got it on the cheap. Um, pretty much everything in this lot, it ranged from $1.25 to $5 at the most. And then you'll see a couple of heavy hitters at the end. And, and those were still very reasonably priced as well. So yeah, I believe this is Forge's first appearance. And uh, yeah, so that was the first one there. Number two, or the next one, I'm sorry. And then let me get the, yeah. So this is 184. I don't know if I had said that already. I'll just leave it faced up, face up. And the next one is 181, Young Dragons in Love. I don't know if there's anything that, I don't know if this is a first appearance or anything like that. If there is, I'll put it in the bottom left corner. If not, this is just another a classic X-Men issue. I remember this cover. Another one of those classic covers. Again, I don't know if uh, there was anything special about this, just the Samurai Days of Logan. So those are always very cool. And this is 172. He got it, looks like he got it for a dollar uh, at the grocery store. So this is actually in pretty good condition as well, as, as was this uh, 181. So, and I don't think I paid that much more than that, to be honest. Maybe two dollars or something. Yet another classic cover, the death of Charles Xavier. Uh, one of the many deaths of Charles Xavier that we joked about when I was picking the books up. And this one is, this one has some dings going across the spine here. But like I said, these were very reasonably priced books. I'm not going to complain at all. So stuff's just getting checked off the list. Even if these aren't, so I'm mainly focusing on uh, key issues, first appearances. So even if this isn't a key issue, this is a classic cover. So I, I'm, I'm, that's probably another tier that I'm gonna aim at as classic covers. So I believe this is 166. This might be the first appearance of The Brood, maybe. I definitely recognize this cover. So this is a first appearance of somebody. Uh, I'm not, not too sure at this point, but this is definitely a key issue for somebody. I, I can't remember offhand. Like I said, I'll put it in the bottom corner there. And the, the, the condition of this is pretty good overall. There are dings, like good, good sized dings. You can see it clearly um, in the spine, but it's not, it's, it's in pretty good condition, I think still. So all of these pickups, I don't think that I'm going to hunt down more copies of. Maybe this one. This is Rogue's second appearance, but her first appearance in X-Men, I believe. I believe that to be correct. So this corner down here is bent, so I'll pull this out and fix that. Um, that's got some dings across the spine, but this one was, I think this was five bucks, and I think this is maybe a $20 book, something around there, maybe more. So that was a nice pickup. And we got Phoenix Reborn, it's issue 157, pretty decent condition, a couple of dents and dings in the spine, but again, overall, the, the book itself looks pretty good beyond that. 
Enter the Star Jammers. This is issue 156. When I saw this cover, I thought it was the first appearance of the Star Jammers, but it is not. Uh, I think I think there's somewhere closer in the 120s, maybe 124. I know it's in the the Phoenix, the first Phoenix storyline, the first Phoenix saga. So, um, but still a cool issue and a classic cover. This I okay. So I can't remember what's going on in this issue. I feel like this is something else as well. 154. Uh, but I do recognize this cover. I can't remember what it's to. So, and this one's more beat up. This is probably, uh, as far as the other issues go, this is the most beat up of all the things that I've seen so far. But um, I'm still cool with it. Kitty quits the X-Men. So this is in pretty rough condition. You can see the crease right here. Oops. The crease right here on the book, another crease here. Very well loved issue. Corners up here, so. Um, but key issue, classic, classic cover. It's double size, 150 issue. X Men versus Magneto. Someone is down. I believe that's Kitty. Or no, I don't know who this is. She got stars on her gloves. I'm not sure who this character is. The kitty had a costume that had star gloves. I don't know. And this is a classic cover. I I don't know if this is the very first crossover with with Doom and the X Men. Um, but I think this was like a I think this is like a twenty or thirty dollar book, and it's in pretty decent condition. Good, good condition. I want to say. Uh, there's some dings and stuff like that on the spine but it's an overall it looks looks pretty good yeah i got this for i think this was one of the five dollar books that i picked up and here we go this is 142 this is the second uh part of days of future past one of the most classic of classic covers so iconic um let's see what my hand from the book I want to see the condition it looks it looks pretty decent it's obviously not mint or near mint uh, but I think it still looks pretty decent okay so you have there's a lot of a lot of dents and dings but you could see it here here those two and there's a couple over here but shoot I got this for $23 so I think the I think these usually go for roughly around thirty. I think in worse condition than this, I think they're usually about thirty bucks. So I felt pretty good about this about this purchase. Very happy to have this book. That's like a like I said, it's a classic cover along with one forty one one forty one. This cover is has been homaged so many times. This is in a a very rough condition. It's it's pretty beat up. It's chewed up over here, um, but I got this for twenty eight bucks, and that's on the cheaper side for this book. But it's also uh, more more damaged than one forty two. So, but these books, these this issue doesn't come cheaply. Let me try to. Maybe it's in there. There we go. Yeah, this is. It's quite rough. This is pretty beat up, but yeah, 28 bucks. I'm not sweating 28 bucks. That's, um, this is a temporary copy. I will be searching for another copy, but it's nice to have this in my collection as of right now. So this one will definitely get an upgrade at some point. So, but I love, I love having it. And since it's so beat up, I'm, I'm not going to mind flipping through this. I'm actually going to look through this book. Um, it's, it's, you know, when it's well loved like this, it's, might as well. I'm like, there's not much more damage that can be done to it. Look at that. Days of Future Past. Man, I'm going to be studying this book. 
I'm gonna I'm probably gonna read this tonight to be honest and probably as soon as I finish this video I'm gonna give it a read all the grave sites down here Yeah, I'm trying to fig like there might be water damage on this. It might be water damage. That's what it's causing all that wrinkling on the cover. It's cool seeing the old ads. Yeah, I was talking to the seller and he um he said he picked these up on the newsstands. This was actually a back issue. He had to search for I believe his first issue he was telling me he's liquidating his collection. And um, so I'm actually gonna send him a list of books I'm looking for, see what he has. So, but his first book was uh, issue 148. So when he got his first comic ever, this was actually a back issue. He had to go search for it. He's got like a tear or really, th yeah, there's a tear on the bottom here. You could see my finger go through, it's okay. Ah, uh, that's cool. It reminds me of how Jim Lee would do Jean Grey. Jean Grey's like a, a powers. More ads. Classic. Such a classic book. This is awesome. All right, thank you everyone for watching this video. As always, please go to accidentalaliens.com and pick up some of my comics that I do myself. They are very X-Men inspired. The Second Shift, the story of minimum wage superheroes, people with normal nine to fives like you and I would have, and they do their superheroing at night. And Wanders of Melisanda, a story of two dominant species trying to coexist on one planet. One of those species is humanity, the other are evolved dinosaurs, so anthropomorphic dinosaurs versus humans, essentially. Uh, so think Avatar meets He-Man and Dino Saucers, essentially, elevator pitch for that. So go to accidentalaliens.com, give those books a look, pick them up, that will help support the channel, and it'll help me uh, make more comics. So people pick up my books, I make more books. All right, have a good one, and catchphrase. Thank mm -hmm. you.